Hello everyone! Thank you for tuning in for today's video and in today's video we're going to be talking about fall eyeshadow palettes. Now I wasn't going to film a fall eyeshadow palettes video but I decided to do it. It is officially fall now and uh, I wanted to give you some recommendations for fall palettes. This was a little tricky because I had to really go back and think which fall palettes do I, have, do I have now that I didn't have when I did this video last year because I didn't want to be repetitive. So anyway, I have uh, six palettes in front of me that I want to share with you. So before we get started, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy. This is Dolly Mom Beauty and on this channel we talk about a lot of things. We talk a lot about eyeshadow palettes because that is my first love and I also enjoy drugstore makeup and I enjoy loving what you have and using what your own in your makeup collection so you don't need to buy all of the brand new releases because makeup is expensive and we uh, have lots of other priorities in our life so yeah anyway we talk about some not so new things on this channel but I get new things from time to time as we talk about those too hope you guys will think about subscribing so let's just talk about the six palettes I have sitting in front of me and I'm gonna talk first about the two palettes that I'm wearing on my eyes now the first one is a huge stretch it's a huge stretch, but I had to mention it in this video because if you take out some of the colors in this video, in this, um, in this uh, palette, you really do have a fall palette here. This is the Juicy Boost palette from Colored Rain, and um, really truthfully, um, if you take this shade, this shade, like these these shades right here, like if you just if you just if you just cut the palette down like this and you cut out these blues and these berries and these pinks, if you cut those all out, then you would have a perfect fall palette. I'm wearing uh, sweet potato mango on my eye, I'm wearing orange carrot on my eye, and I'm wearing this on my lid. I'm wearing another shadow eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna mention just in just a second on my outer corner. But, you know, you got this deep green, you got this kind of reddish, you know, the strawberry, um, apple strawberry shade, got the sweet potato mango shade, you got this um, this uh, turmeric shot, the orange carrot, you got this, um, I think that's, uh, I can't remember what it is, but it, it's, it's uh, I think it's lemon wheat grass, but you've got those, those, you know, those definitely fall colors in here, but you know, you just take out the pinks and the blues, the blues up here, and then you've got, in my personal opinion, a perfect fall palette. I've seen nobody mention this, because it is very summery, but if you really just take out those oranges, like if you take out those pinks and blues, you really do have a very cohesive uh, fall color story. So there's that one. So the next palette I want to talk about, and uh, please forgive me, my neighbor kids are outside, so if you hear them in the background, um, they're running around like uh, banshees in the backyard right now. Still very summery here in California. Okay, so the next palette I want to mention is something that's new. I'm going to be talking about this in an upcoming video. I was hesitant to mention it here because I haven't told you guys I bought it yet, but it's the Nomad palette from Juvia's Place. Okay, it's a nine pan palette and it's smaller than their other nine pans. When I saw it, I was like, this is smaller. I was so excited. So let me open it up for you guys. This palette is, this palette is to die for. You got this deep, like this gray, you know, gray green up here. You've got this, you know, this kind of, you know, khaki camo down here. This deep brown is what I have on my outer corners. Okay, um, you don't get a lot of shimmers in here. You've got this kind of sequency, you know, uh, yellow shade, but it's not like a full-on shimmer. It's one of those mattes with shimmer in it, I think. Well, no, I don't know, but you got this, you know, this mustard and this, you know, this orange, uh, burnt orange this is fall this is so fall this reminds me though of like um you know it's just very harvesty it just got that harvest vibe you know uh but yeah i love it i think it's great i i just literally just got this this week i got this the other day and i've worn it like three times sorry <laughs> i i really really like it it's gorgeous um it didn't i wasn't sure when i when i first saw this palette come out i wasn't sure how i felt about it and then i was just like yeah yeah yeah, it's good it's really good it's definitely definitely uh awesome okay so the next palette i want to mention is from alamar cosmetics and it's the rana del caribe palette i did not have this palette last year mine is a little bit janky because it was gifted to me from um, a neighbor um take out the two blues 
take out the two blues and everything else is fall. Just, just remove those colors. I can't do it. Anyway, take out the blues and you literally have a fall palette. Gorgeous, gorgeous shades. These ones are all matte down here, which is perfect. And you know, and I just use these. I, I hardly use the blues at all. I don't think I've ever used the blues in here, but I've used every other shade in here and it is the perfect fall palette. It's, stun it's stunning and the formula is so good in this. Um, I'm just glad that I inherited it because uh, I probably would have bought it on my own, but I, I, I inherited it from, uh, from a neighbor and I, I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful for fall. So there's that. That's Serena de Caribe. Okay, the next one I'm going to talk about is uh, from Profusion, and it is my uh, Emeralds palette. This this is debatable. I don't know how many people think of this as a fall palette, but really, for, for me here in California, there's still a lot of green. There's still a lot of grass. There's still a lot. There's Nothing's dead yet. Uh, except for, well, anything that's been touched by fire, of course. Pray for California, I swear to God. Anyway, um, this, you know, is, uh, if you if you were to go up into, um, I go to Apple Hill or go up to Tahoe and stuff, you see, you'll see a lot of green with some browns and stuff like that and golds. Um, it's a very fall palette for me. I, I, I definitely could use this in the fall. Um, minus, you know, some of these blue tealy shades. Um, and maybe this bright green, but the rest of it is very fall to me. Um, you know, this whole top row is very fall to me. I love it. I think it's an absolutely beautiful palette. I think it's perfect for fall. These are only five bucks. I did a $5 Friday video on this. I will link it so you guys can check that out. So the next palette I want to mention is one of my Kaleidos makeup palettes. This one is the Cyber Bronze. Now I got these last year for Christmas, so I didn't have this one last year. I know that I didn't have this one this, last year. This is the palette right here. These are stunning, these Kaleidos palettes. Now, uh, I am getting the other two. I, I, I don't know what happened to me this month, you guys. I, I bought more makeup than I bought in a long time, but I did not get the Kaleidos palettes yet, but I'm gonna get the new ones. But this one is so pretty. Um, let me, let me, hold it better. This one is so pretty. You've got um, the three matte shades down here on the end, which are those warm browns, and then you've got these um, foiled and metallic and shimmer shades down here on the end. Beautiful colors. I absolutely love it. I, this, this palette is hard to hold because I don't want to blind you because of the mirror. Okay, so I'll try to hold it down here. And it, the, the colors kind of blend into the background, so I hope you guys can see that. But these are stunning. The quality of Kaleidos palettes are, are, are everything. They really, really are. So if you don't have one yet, I highly suggest you pick one up. This one is probably the most neutral. No, I'll t I take that back. The newest one, uh, Shashimi City, it looks pretty neutral as well. Um, but this is beautiful. You can get some really, really intense, gorgeous looks with this palette. So I love that for fall. Um, and the last palette I want to talk about today is uh, a limited edition palette, but it's still available if you can find it, if it's still available, because I, I think it's available on ABH's website for $31, and it is the ABH Jackie Ina palette. Guys, this palette is, don't sleep on it, I promise you, you you're going to thank me later. If you don't get this palette now, you're going to regret it, because it is really, really pretty. Take out take out those those purples and to me you really have a very very cohesive fall color story you got a lot of golds a lot of um, rich browns uh, pumpkin -y colors um, the red the reds the rose gold um, that green you know sponsored which is everybody's favorite shade I love it too um, lots of fall looks you can have you can create with this palette so yeah, the ABH Jackie Ina palette. I have other palettes I could have mentioned, you guys, but I, you know, I did this palette video last year for the fall palettes, and I didn't want to be repetitive. Um, but if you have, if you have it, get the Tribe palette out because the Tribe palette is absolutely stunning. This palette is being discontinued, and that's another reason why I didn't want to mention it here, but I did mention it last year. This reminds me of an acorn squash. I said this last year when I did the same video last year. Um, absolutely stunning. You know, acorn squash, it's kind of that green and green and orange on the outside. Um, you know, so I think the rest of the palette just kind of goes with that. 
highly highly recommend this palette but it's very hard to find now because it is being discontinued and I think I mentioned a few other palettes but if you have the tribe palette pick it pick it up pull it out use it and enjoy it uh, this fall season so that's it guys those are six palettes plus my little honorable mention for the tribe palette because I had to throw it in there at the end that I think are perfect for fall. Do you have any of these palettes? Are you excited for fall? What fall palettes do you have that I did not mention that are your favorite fall palettes? Please let me know down in the comment section. I'm gonna include some of my other eyeshadow palette content down in the description bar. I have an eyeshadow palette collection. I have my no buy, low buy, or go buy series. I have other videos that are eyeshadow palette related. So if you wanna check out more eyeshadow palette content, Go ahead and hit and go to that playlist and then watch some of my other videos that'd be cool so if you like this one give me a thumbs up also if you're new here and you haven't yet already subscribed and you want to stick around join the dmv crew then hit the subscribe button right there and the notification bell next to it so you'll be informed when i post future videos that is it you guys that's all for now hope you have a good one take care happy fall and i'll see you soon bye